This is a close-up of some of the hieroglyphs that survive on Stella E. Stella E is the tallest monument, 35 feet high above the ground, another 10 feet below the ground. An enormous piece of stone, must have taken dozens of men to carve it. And the hieroglyph right here gives you a good idea of how difficult it is to read, even in a well-preserved monument. This is a day sign cartouche. It's probably the hieroglyph Ahau. Uh, Ahau is the last day of the week. And this is number 13, three dots and two bars. So the bars are five, the dots are, the dots are one. And so we have a date 13 Ahau, and we're telling, he's telling us a specific event. Uh, down here we have the word, the king of Kitigua, which means that probably we're telling the date of an event in the life of, they named the king, Kaktiliu, which I can't even recognize here, but this is the Kirigua emblem glyph and the word Lord of, and that's probably sacred Lord of. And this is often a glyph that ends, ends uh, monuments. So this is called raking light, and you get this nice shadow going across the things. It's, it happens only for brief times during the day. Generally, people photograph things at night to get this kind of raking light. You can start to see a hieroglyphic uh, face in here. The uh, eye is still in shadow, but the head is visible, the face and so forth, the, the mouth and so forth. <clears throat> but this is why we like to make drawings of monuments. The drawing helps you, helps the reader to see what the monument actually looks like. 